I just accidentally deleted all of the photos and videos on my memory card. I thought I imported them, but I didn't, and then I emptied the trash, and I nearly had a heart attack. Luckily, I found a way to recover everything for free, and it's easy. I'll show you how. Don't panic. All right, so to do this, we're gonna use a program called Test Disk. Test Disk. It's amazing, it's free, it's open source. Thanks Christoph Grenier, who's probably saved millions of idiots like me. So, if I go to my card, you can see, this used to be full of video files, and uh, in order to save space, I went through and deleted them all, and I assumed that I had imported them, but I fucked up and I didn't, so heart attack, panic. And the worst part is then I went and emptied the bin, so everything's gone. So the first thing we wanna do is install test disk. And the easiest way to do that is using brew on the Mac. Um, I'll let you figure out how to install brew instructions at the bottom. But uh, once you have brew, then it's easy to install. So pretty much no matter what computer you're using, I have the M1 Mac, for example, running ARM architecture, and I can still do brew install test disk. And that will automatically find the binaries for my system and install it. As you can see, I've already installed it. So once you have test disk installed, we're gonna need to go and unmount the disk. So run disk utility, and go and eject the disk that you want to recover. Close that, and then we're gonna run test disk as root. You can choose if you wanna create a log file, Sure, that's fine. And then choose the disk that you want. In the instructions, it tells you that our disk access is faster than disk, access, than disk access. And I'll show you the instructions I'm following here. Yeah, so here it tells you our disk access is faster than disk access. So we choose our disk. It also says that the default partition selection is usually correct, so I just hit enter. We go to advanced, over to undelete, and then we simply choose the folder where our deleted stuff is. And now you can see in the folder that I was in before that there's a whole bunch of red files, which I deleted, and I can now recover. How fucking amazing is that? So let's go and pull something. And the most important thing if you want to recover is as soon as you realize that you've deleted everything, remove the card and don't write anything more to it because every time you write something, you're overwriting one of these deleted files. I was lucky I realized before using the card again that I deleted everything and so I was able to recover absolutely everything. So let's grab a file here. You can use the colon button to select files and then Type Shift C to copy them all somewhere. Choose a folder. I will recover them to my documents. Okay. Shift C and we're copying. This might take a little while. Copy done to okay. Let's go see. Documents and the folder structure is maintained. So in private, m for root, clip, I can see the two files I deleted of my beautiful girlfriend. Woohoo! I hope that was helpful. Obviously, if it did help you out of a panicky, horrible situation, I appreciate a like, and then maybe it will reach more people and help other people too save themselves from this shitty situation. Also say a big thanks to Christoph Grenier who wrote the software. Woo, open source technology to the rescue.